we continue with our topic about the crosses and the blessings. And today I will go dive deeper into the crosses, the crosses which are called the sin of idolatry. And I discuss exactly how much God hates idolatry. See that God hates idolatry so much. And because when we worship other gods, we make God so very angry. We make it give him so much sorrow. And if that is sorrow is that what is bringing us into chorus. And I also say that this chorus that is caused by that is generational. So today I continue to talk, to discuss about the idolatry. I also am talking about the other causes. I'm just try to dive go deeper and I talk about it, another curse and the curse is that is cause that is caused by to when it to discern parents. You understand this is another type this is another way people become cursed. When we discern our parents. According to the word of God, it is been says that I mean the Ten Commandments is it says that Respect your father and your mother, and you shall have long life and prosperity. The opposite of that, so prosperity is a blessing. Long life is a blessing. The opposite of that is curse. This is so important to lead children to obey the parents. We are living in the society that is telling us now that it's not so very important to respect our parents. It's not so very important any longer. Because when we, we respect, I don't know what these people mean. We are living in the very, very bad, bad time. The people in this generation, but it is not just by coincidence we are living in this generation. In in Second Timothy chapter three, verse one to five, the Bible is telling us, "You should know this, Timothy, that in the last day there will be very difficult time, for people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud." scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents and ungrateful, they will consider nothing sacred. This is the time when we are living in this time where dishonoring your parents is just very normal. Actually, it wasn't normal a long time ago. It wasn't normal a long time ago. When Jesus was asked by the rich man, asking him, there was one day in Luke chapter 18, verse 18 to 30, to chapter 7. One day, chapter 18 to 30. One day, one of the local officials asked him, Lord, teach, what must I do to deserve eternal life? Jesus, why are you calling me good? No one is good, only God. You know the commandment, don't you? No elite sex. It means no performing adultery or fornication. No, don't kill him. Don't steal. No lying. Hannah, your father and your mother. And he said, I have kept them all. So Jesus was coming. Jesus took him into the Ten Commandments. If you want to inherit the kingdom of God, do not steal. Do not perform adultery. Honor your father and your mother. This is the command to God. It's not just we are doing because we want we want to look like we are cooler than the other, or it's just because I'm a, we are doing just for fun, or we are doing because we choose to be that. It is the command from God. And not respecting father and mother. Not honoring father and mother is seen according to the word of God that people 
will not inherit the kingdom of God. But also, this sin will bring people into the curse here on earth. So, if you see that the people does not respect father and mother, and don't think that it is normal. It is normal these days, but it is not actually according to the will of God. It is not expected by God that we are living. So the sin of dishonoring the, the father and mother, you become cursed according to, according to Deuteronomy chapter, according to Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 17. Cursed is the man who dishonors his father or his mother. Then all the people shall say, Amen. This is another thing that can bring people to hell because or to be cursed when they dishonor father and mother according to the word of God. So, remember this. If you see that the people are doing that, they are wrong. Do what is right. Teach your kids to 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 honor parents so that they can have long life and prosperity. We are living in the la in the time now that in the generation many people are living under the generational curse this time. I'm just going to talk about this in the future even more to reveal more about what does it mean, what is the symptom of somebody living in the curse, or what it shall make people, what, what is living in the curse meaning. But when you see that people does not act normally. Many people have got some demons which are, it's because of that, because demons love a place where there is curse. Demons love to dwell inside of those places because those places are the places of darkness. And demons, because demons love darkness, they like to dwell in those places. So when you see that people's bodies mentality, actions, and everything, and most of all, prosperity, and everything are, is all about because of that curse. And when people pray, God does not listen to them. So, in Genesis, we can also read from in Genesis chapter we can also read in Egypt in Genesis when Noah Noah became drunk. Genesis chapter nine, verse chapter nine. And we read that after when Noah came out of the come out of the ark, he became drunk. And when he became drunk, he was sitting and the things was showing. And Noah had a son. His name was Ham. And when Ham came to to saw so his father was sleeping, he was sleeping like this. He was drunk, and he, he was naked. I mean, his the clothes he fell down, and he was naked, and the things was showing up. And he, this son was laughing, and he would tell his brothers in the way of disrespect uh, dishonoring uh, disrespecting him worker and the his two brothers one is called shem and another called joseph i i don't remember his name this brother he came and they the two brothers they took a cloth and they came backward until when they covered their father with the cloth and so the father woke up. And when he woke up, he heard the story. The father spoke the words. He cursed the son of Ham. 
It turns out Ikaz is the son of Ham. His name is, I just don't remember his name. If you read in the Bible, you see from that generation of his son, and is his son, we see that his children, until 10th generation, because it's actually because it's their generation to until the tenth generation of this generation of these children of Noah, it was the generation of Abraham, Lot, and other. And the, so it means that in this tenth generation, this is the place we found that it, the children of Ham, many of them. They went to, 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 to settle in these areas of Sodom and Gomorrah. And in 10 generation, we saw that this is the generation most of them were burned by fire by God. The rest of them, them went to live in Canaan. And this is the generation we see that God was casting them out of Canaan and he wanted a child of Shem who is Abraham to go and settle there and he wanted him to go to give this place to Abraham but he cast out these people of Canaan it's because the behaviors you know some kind of they become like some kind of I think it has so much to do with, we you know, when it's, where there is cars, demons like to settle there. And when people have demons, they are, their, their actions, they become cruel, cruel, they become some kind of, is there so many things to talk about, but because I do not want to talk because it is like it. Some people will not understand so very well. So I'm just trying to give this revelation. You can read in the Bible yourself and think yourself why there is some other people have different uh, have problems in their lives. And you can also think that these problems, how to recover from these problems, this is something. Thank God we are living in the mercy time. Everyone who comes to God will receive salvation. It doesn't matter where, how far we have gone. I'm just asking you to accept Jesus today. Let him enter into your life. Let him guide your life. Let him be the light in your life. Read his word. Word leave his word and walk his word. You will see the changes in your life. I said that I wanted you to pray for you, but I encourage you who is listening, send me your prayer request. Tell me your story and I will bring it to God and I will contact you back. And I will tell you more. No, I'm not going to ask you for money. I never ask people for money online. And if somebody asks you for money on my name, that person is a thief. I never do that. May God bless you so much, child.